सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द फोर स्टोक डीजल इंजिन एंड डीजल साइकिल इन वेरी इजी एंड सिंपल लैंग्वेज सो डैट दिस डिफिकल्ट कंसेप्ट वोट बी डिफिकल्ट एनी मोर four steps in this first step is suction intake stroke occurs when the air fuel mixture is introduced to the combustion chamber in this stroke the piston moves from tdc to bdc the nearest position of the piston to the crankshaft the movement of the piston towards the bdc creates a low pressure area in the cylinder in this the in inlet valve opens outlet valve is closed and crankshaft rotation is done on 180 degrees now the second process is compression stroke In compression stroke the trapped air fuel mixture is compressed inside the cylinder during the stroke the piston moves from bdc to tdc compressing the air fuel mixture here inlet valve is closed outlet valve is also closed and crankshaft rotation is at 180 degree now there is power or combustion stroke the second rotation of the crankshaft begins with it completes a full rotation during the compression stroke Here, inlet valve is closed, outlet valve is closed, and crankshaft rotation is at 180 degree. Exhaust stroke. As the piston reaches BDC during the power stroke, combustion is complete and the cylinder is filled with exhaust gases. Here, the inlet valve is closed, outlet valve is open to remove the exhaust outside, and the crankshaft rotation at 180 degree, total 720 degrees. This is fuel injector. These are rocker arms. This is camshaft. This is crankshaft. This is piston. This is TDC and this is BDC down there. And also we have exhaust. So now the piston is at TDC. In the first step, that is suction, the piston goes from TDC to BDC, just like this. And in the second process. it again comes back to tdc then in third process which is combustion the piston again goes back to bdc and in last step that is exhaust it again goes to tdc from bdc and the exhaust valve is open when the piston completes one stroke that is from tdc to bdc it is called as stroke length Now let's see what is diesel cycle diagram. Introduction to diesel cycle diagram. The diesel cycle is a thermodynamic cycle used in diesel engines. It consists of four processes as we all know: intake, compression, combustion and exhaust. The cycle is represented by a pressure volume diagram. First process is intake process. The intake process starts with the piston at top dead center that is the piston moves from TDC to BDC the intake valve opens and the piston moves downward just like i said before drawing air into the cylinder the intake process is represented by a horizontal line on the diagram at constant pressure next process is compression process After the intake process the intake valve closes and the piston moves upward compressing the air that is over here the piston moves from BDC to TDC the compression increases the pressure and temperature of the air the compression process is represented by a vertical line on the diagram at increasing pressure 
Next process is combustion process. At the end of the combustion process, fuel is injected into the cylinder. Over here, the piston moves from TDC to BDC. The fuel ignites due to the high temperature and pressure causing rapid combustion. The combustion process is represented by an inclined line on the diagram at constant volume. Next process is expansion process. The combustion of fuel creates a high pressure gas that pushes the piston downwards. That is, now the piston goes from TDC to BDC. This downward motion is known as the power stroke or expansion process. The expansion process is represented by a horizontal line on the diagram at decreasing pressure. Last process is exhaust process. After the expansion process, the exhaust valve opens and the piston moves upward, pushing out the burnt gases. Over here, the piston moves from BDC to TDC. The exhaust process helps to clear out the cylinder for the next cycle. The exhaust process is represented by a vertical line on the diagram at decreasing pressure. Diesel cycle diagram representation. Now let's see how diagrammatically we can represent the diesel cycle. Here the first diagram is pressure and volume. In this, from 1 to 2, it is isentropic compression, so compression process takes place. From 2 to 3, we have constant pressure heat addition, so heat is added at constant pressure, just like we can see. And then from 3 to 4, we have isentropic expansion, that is process of expansion takes place. And then from 4 to 1, we have constant volume heat rejection, in which the volume is constant. Now next diagram is temperature and entropy. Here we can see that from 1 to 2 it is isentropic compression where we have con efficiency of the diesel cycle. The efficiency of the diesel cycle is higher compared to the other thermodynamic cycles. It is due to the higher compression ratio and the absence of a throttle wall. The higher compression ratio allows for better thermal efficiency.